Dear, Dear us. us. Okay, so we're doing Dear Me, but we're doing it together, so it's Dear Us. And it's basically just our letter to our former selves. So when I was younger, I was always teased about being a tomboy or being too boyish. I actually had a slight Amish boy haircut, so even my dad's friends that would come over, they'd be like, oh, you didn't know you had a son. And it didn't bother me then, honestly, but when I got older and was, you know, becoming a teenager, it did kind of bother me. And I started wearing girlier clothes. I wore pink a lot. I started doing my hair in certain ways and caring about how I dressed to make sure I looked more feminine. About the death of your dad, um, it messes with you, uh, don't worry about it. Seriously, like, you, it brings you to be a better person and gives you a reason to talk to people, um, and experience so you can relate to other people, help them with their problems. Like, you'll go on, help quite a bit of people with their problems of this issue. I mean... It does not matter. It really does not matter. It doesn't. Dress how you want to dress at all times. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks, even though that sounds really cliche. Look how you turned out. All your clothes are men's clothes. It's okay. It's okay to be boyish and have a boyish personality. You don't have to be girly. Alright, so now we're in 4th to 6th to 7th grade. You're getting bullied a lot. And you switch schools in 6th grade. Switch schools. Now we're moving on into high school. And we're dating boys. Which is a whole other story all on its, on its own. Uh, you come out a lot stronger than you go into it. You go into the new school switch. A little bit nervous. It's all these new people. You've never met them. Your sister's really good friends with them, but you don't know. We see this pattern as we're dating these boys. After after you know a little while, they cheat on you, or they they're lying to you, or they are emotionally abusive to you, and you're dealing with it because you think you have to. You bond a lot with your with your friends and you come out one of the higher up people in the school it's it's good self-esteem a little bit you know down towards the ground so your next boyfriend you're like oh this guy treats me like crap but that's okay that's like okay. at least he's not cheating on me and you're not supposed to have to take that you're not supposed to have to take that but all the boys that are treating you bad and all the, the drama that you go through, just don't even worry about it, because you know what? You're gay. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> now, we're gonna talk about the breakup. We don't have to specify which one, because it's, it's the only one. Um, you go from here, you're, you're happy, you're good, to way down here. Now it's time to talk about depression. While it's not really a very well understood topic for a lot of people, they're like, oh, we'll just be happy. Duh, just don't think about it. Just don't be depressed. And you're like, oh, thanks guys, that really helped me out a lot. It really helped. It does not help. It actually kind of just pisses you off. Kind of drop off the face of the earth, literally. Like, you did, did disappear for almost two to three months. And then you get the courage to come back. You can't help that you feel that way. And I felt that way for a really long period of my life. The 
the, the Philip you see sitting right here, that's what comes out. Just know that you're gonna get through it, whether you feel like it or not. You're gonna get through it, you're gonna get better, you're going to be the happiest you've ever been in your life once you've gotten through it. You're just, you're better. You get better. It gets better. Everything gets better. You just have to work for it and you have to give it time. Don't worry. It's, it, you, you turn out a lot better than, than what you think you're going to. Just don't worry about it. Everything that you're going through, other people go through the same thing. You're not the only person in the world going with this problem. Okay? Other people have gotten through it. You're going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. Me. You're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. It does. It just it makes you stronger. Everything that you go through makes you a stronger person. And it's all for the better. And it's for who you're going to become. Sincerely, Sincerely your, your future, future selves. selves. Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. it.